Now I will log in with my valid username. As you can see, I was not prompted for a password and was directly logged in. Hi, Kooptonian here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is a quick one because it is similar to a previous video. I've received a few comments asking if it was possible to bypass any kind of authentication altogether. More specifically, the password on the local network and if I could upload a video demonstrating it. Well, here it is. If your setup is currently like mine, where the login page has both the username and password on the same page, we will first need to change it to where the password is requested on the next page. If your setup already has the password on the next page, skip the first few steps of this video. As usual, log into your authentic instance. Click on Admin Interface. Click on Flows and Stages to expand it. And click on Flows. Next, Click on your main authentication flow. Mine isn't listed, so I'll search for it and click it. Then, click on Stage Bindings. Find and click on Edit for your identification stage. Now click the field for password stage and clear it out by choosing the dashes. and click Update. Next, we want to have the password requested on the second page of the login by adding the password stage back into the flow. To do that, click on Bind Existing Stage. For stage, choose your authentication password stage. Give it an order number higher than your identification stage but lower than the next stage, so I will enter 12 in my case and click Create. So now we want to bind our local IP bypass policy to the password stage, similar to what we've done with the multi-factor authentication bypass. If you don't have a local IP bypass policy created or missed how to set that up from my MFA bypass video, click the link here or in the description to watch that video. Next, click the arrow next to your password stage to expand it. Then, click on Bind Existing Policy. Click on the Policy field, find and choose your local IP bypass policy. Be sure the policy is enabled. And to negate the result, then click Create. Again, be sure the policy enabled status shows as Yes. Finally, let's test it out. First, I'll go ahead and open up a new private incognito window and navigate to my authentic instance. As expected, my login only prompts me for the username on the first page. If the user doesn't exist, the login will not go any further as demonstrated here. Now I will log in with my valid username. As you can see, I was not prompted for a password and was directly logged in. I will mention again that if you don't have the local IP bypass configured, check my previous video regarding MFA bypass that shows how it's done. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to see any other videos I upload. Thanks for watching.